Well, winter making a comeback, maybe just when we thought there wasn't a chance. No, it's back. Uh, we did see again anywhere from about a half an inch to about four and a half inches across the city this morning. That has all wrapped up. Those clouds even beginning to lift, but temperatures not warming much still uh, at 29 degrees. Again, no additional snowfall for us here tonight, but our high temperature today only getting up to that freezing mark. Coldest day we've seen in more than two weeks. We started out quite chilly as well, dropping all the way to those low 20s. Again, officially uh, 0.2 inches of snow is what we saw after midnight, but we got 4.4 uh, yesterday before midnight. So that brings us up to 4.6 inches of snow for the month of April. Brings us up to 128.2 inches for the season, which of course is well above what we saw last year, well above what we typically see at this point in the season. Uh, keeps us at a solid number four when we look at how much snow has fallen for the entire season all the way through the end of the season. But we only need another 6.3 inches of snow to set that all time seasonal snowfall record uh, and beat out 2012. So we'll see if we get there. We do have have snow in the forecast uh, that will happen on Thursday and you can see snowfall reports coming in from the hillside all the way out to Ted Stevens. That storm is done but again this next storm really ramping up pushing into the Bering Sea already delivering snow to western Alaska and those winds beginning to pick up as as well. Uh, and that is why we do have everything from blizzard warnings to winter storm warnings in effect, uh, all because of that combination of snow and wind. So do be ready for this if you're in the western side of the state tonight and tomorrow. A few of those snow showers will push further uh, into the interior, even here into south central tomorrow minutes really as we head into Wednesday night uh, and Thursday that we'll see that next surge of moisture that'll bring heavier snow likely uh, here to Anchorage to the valley and to the Kenai Peninsula snow to start but we'll likely see it mixing over to rain before the end of the day again that's coming up on Thursday as for tomorrow for those of you across southeast some sun breaks otherwise mostly cloudy temperatures will start out at about that freezing mark but I do expect highs to still get back into the low to mid 40s into the afternoon now across the Kenai Peninsula, a little light snow possible in Homer, uh, mixing with rain there in the afternoon, and you'll see that in Kodiak as well. But uh, otherwise, just mostly cloudy conditions. Do be ready for those teens again near Kenai, with high temperatures only reaching the mid-30s in the afternoon. We'll see chances for light snow across Prince William Sound up into the Cop River Basin and a few snow showers possible tomorrow uh, in the valley, especially as you head north of Willow. Otherwise, that cold air sticking around teens and 20s tonight with high temperatures only reaching the mid 30s tomorrow for us in Anchorage low 20s tonight I do expect high temperatures in the mid 30s tomorrow again a quick break uh, before that next storm system gets here late Wednesday into early Thursday that will bring a little snow likely here mid morning Thursday into the early afternoon uh, but as temperatures warm I do expect that to mix with rain into the afternoon and we'll see uh, a chance for a wintry mix even heading into Friday. Warmer, drier conditions, though, Rebecca, just in time for the weekend. Perfect timing.